I decided to open my camera and share a little bit about what's been happening to my gastritis journey. And for those of you who've been following me for gastritis content, are aware that I've been struggling with gastritis, acid reflux, and indigestion uh, problems for over a year. And no, I'm not completely cured. And every time I upload a video or a vlog of myself eating food, people keep asking me like, how are you doing? Can you eat this food right now? Or are you currently all cured? And my answer is no, again, I'm not cured but I am still eating some food that I want to eat even though I have to avoid them religiously because I am a human and I get very tempted especially on the weekends but I do try my best especially on the weekdays to prevent all the symptoms I have and just to recap a little bit the symptoms I have are um, or the main symptom I have from gastritis and acid reflux is uh, shortness of breath so that's how I found out that I had gastritis because there was one night I had a hard time breathing when I was on the bed when I was on my back actually lying down and I couldn't breathe I couldn't inhale so I initially thought I had a heart problem because I couldn't breathe but I found out that I had a stomach problem instead and because I had all the acids in my stomach whatever I was consuming was not able to get digested. I would just continuously burp or have a very hard time inhaling uh, and it was really difficult. So then I was prescribed a medication that I shared in my previous videos and I'll put up a link above. And they did help me with my shortness of breath. They prevented it, but after I was off the medication, I still had problems which is pretty bad and I got prescribed I think around like four times and because I didn't want to rely on them I started not taking that medication and I remember I shared that I started taking antacids that those are like fruit tablets that I found at Costco in the States they didn't really help me either or I'm sure they did but I wasn't sure if my symptoms went away so but what I found the most helpful is the kinds of food I eat. I definitely have to avoid alcohol. Uh, I'm not a drinker, but there are times when I want to enjoy dinner with my husband or close friends and I have like a, have a glass of wine or a beer, but it's not really friendly to my stomach and I'm not good with oily food for sure. No fried food and carbs. Carbs tend to stay in your stomach for a very long time and that's why you eat them because you need energy from them but and because I'm not I don't have the best digestion when I eat carbs like rice or noodles or pasta it's I have a very hard time digesting so I will maybe share some other time what I eat throughout the week or throughout the day but I eat a lot of vegetables mainly cabbage and cabbages are known to be very good for your stomach lining. They protect uh, the lining of your stomach. I don't know the full mechanism. Maybe I'll study in the future and share with you all. But when I eat cabbage, um, I feel really comfortable and not too heavy. And yes, I don't just eat the cabbage. I usually like steam them or boil them so it's like a little softer. My stomach doesn't have to do crazy work to break, th break them down. I steam them, I eat them with bean paste, so then it's easier to eat. I eat them with eggs, I put it in my scrambled eggs, I sometimes just nibble on it, and I nibble on like cucumber, I drink a lot of tea too, but nothing too caffeinated. The tea I drink is actually just water and honey. Um, and like I shared before, uh, I've been eating this every day and this is actually recommended to eat a small spoonful of this manuka honey if i'm correct or according to my mom you shouldn't like mix with anything you just like open it you just open it and then like you take a little bit and then you just like gulp it down in the morning which i try to do on a daily basis 
Uh, but there are times when I want to drink tea or drink coffee, like in the middle of the day because I'm tired or I need something to you know, constantly keep me awake while I'm working. I try to avoid tea because they have caffeine, which is not good for my stomach. So I just take a little bit of Manuka honey, like this. Manuka has a special smell. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm okay with it, but I can tell why some people don't like it. I just kind of mix it in my hot water. Like this and that would be like my coffee of the day or tea of the day which is really friendly to my stomach uh, so yeah like yes I still do have shortness of breath I struggle with digest digesting food I don't go to the bathroom too often but when I do eat cabbage I go to the bathroom at least uh, every other day or every three days, which is not good either. But, oh, but there is something that I really want to share with you guys. So recently, I went to Japan, if you've been following my vlog with my work. And Japan is known to have really good products, like cosmetic products and even like medications. And there were two medicines that everybody was just like, you need to buy it when you go to Japan because it's like so cheap and it just works wonders to your body and they are all digestive medication and let me show you I wish I could share so this one I actually tried this like many years ago so there was one time I had a really bad indigestion and then she was like you gotta take this and I was introduced to this medicine then but I forgot about it until I went back to Japan and everyone was buying this and I was like oh I remember I remember this package that um people go crazy about for their indigestive problems and let me see what it's called I don't I don't really know the exact name of it because I just know how it looks like but it is oh it's actually on Amazon interesting uh, I'll put up a link if you guys want to take a look at it. It's called o Otas Isan Antacid Herbal Powder Packets made in Japan. Uh, so they are, I don't know the ingredients, but they are powder, like herbal. So when you, oh, this is just antacid. So basically it says antacid herbal powder. So when I went back, they also had tablets, but I did hear the powder works a little bit faster and better and they look like this i already ate some um like that thin you just tear it and then you open and then you eat it so people usually take this when they're like bloated and they can't digest you just put it in your mouth gulp it down with water warm water preferably and it actually works it, it's not it's not too bad so i picked one box up and this is like my emergency kit when i'm like especially when i eat kind of late at night uh, when i eat past like 7 p.m i struggle digesting until like 11 and it's a problem and this other thing that everybody was talking about is this it's called cabbagen cabbagen yeah i don't know how to pronounce it but apparently this is so good that they started importing this medicine to korea so you can actually find this in a pharmacy in korea if you live in korea but of course the price is going to be um a little bit more expensive than you would find in japan this is also on amazon it's called gastrointestinal supplement so this is not I don't think this is like a medicine. It's more like a supplement, cabbage supplement. Okay, so I think this is something that like helps your stomach lining. And as I have mentioned, cabbage is great for your stomach. Like it's, it's awesome. Highly recommend eating cabbage. And I think this is tablet made out of cabbage. Um, I haven't opened it yet. If any of you guys have experience taking either this or this 
Maybe you can share how you like them. Oh, it looks like little like tablets. Okay, I do not know Japanese, but it says on Amazon, it says, this is not like a fermented product. So this is actually good for acid, acidic stomach. It's not recommended to eat more than two weeks. Oh, and you can see results right away. So you don't really need to take it for that long. Now I don't know what that result is from. For me, it's like upset an acidic stomach, but great for acid reflux and, and digestion. Stomach feels very comfortable after these pills. Let me see if I can find other. Because I know this one is for when you're like bloated and super full and you can't digest food. This one, I know you take like two pills three times a day after you eat a meal. And I think it kind of prevents acidic stomach. Okay, this is like a remedy. It says it's like a remedy. It has perilla herb, perilla herb to improve gastric function. It repairs damaged gastric mucosa. It helps gastric movements, treat weakened stomach and promote healthy gastric function. Double layer effect. It, ha it also has an antacid ingredient in the outer layer. It neutralizes gastric acid and creates a friendly environment to digestive enzyme. Okay, apparently perilla herb extract powder is very effective for improving gastric function. This contains methylmethionine sulfonium chloride, which repairs damaged gastric mucosa. So far, I just picked these two up from Japan. I could have bought more, but because I don't know like how it works and I don't know how it'll work on my stomach, I just picked up one box, one pill, um, one bottle. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys that there are products like these. These are not paid promotion. I'm just simply sharing what I have uh, heard from other people. And I'm not sure if they're going to work on me. If they do, I will update you guys again. And if any one of you guys have experienced taking these, please share with me so that I'm aware. Um, I would like to know everything about gastritis, acid reflux. And so far that I have been doing consistently, is eating cabbage almost four times a week and taking manuka honey and it doesn't have to be manuka honey i think any honey has a uh, really good um, nutritional benefits to your body so i recommend taking honey it's definitely better than taking caffeinated coffee or tea for me at least because my stomach is very weak so, so far, that has been my update on my gastritis journey. And I know like a lot of people have a lot of questions, just like myself. And I've been reading your comments, even though when you like comment on my random vlog, how my stomach is doing. I really appreciate that for checking up on me. And I don't have answers to like medications, but I will share as much as I can with what I experience in my days so um, yeah I hope everybody kind of is doing well with their stomach with their digestion gastritis acid reflux or whatnot I know it's very it's a very difficult journey it's a very difficult thing to have in life because you have to take care of it and you have to think about it almost every day so then you don't have crazy symptoms sometimes it just destroys your whole day because you're just so uncomfortable and I know that feeling I sometimes even like change my clothes because for me like because of my shortness of breath when I wear tight clothing it's just very very uncomfortable I don't know how other people are doing but that's it and I feel like I can just talk on and on about gastritis but I'll come back soon and yeah please share your experiences with me maybe something maybe there's something i can learn from and we can learn from each other other than that i hope everybody's doing well and i'll come back